Hey besties, so what I'm doing today is a Snickers wrap and I'm doing this in Cricut Design Space. You can use this with Publisher, Microsoft Word, Photoshop, any of those other programs as well using the same dimensions. So this is the example that I give pretty much most of the time. I am going to go ahead and start another one and we will design that from the beginning. So let's get down to business. I will start with a new template so we can go over measurements and also design. I'm going to start with a square, two of them actually. And then the first square, I am going to unlock my proportions. Let me add my measurements in here for you guys. The first measurement that I'm going to add is going to be the 5.25 and the height will be 4.5 and then my second square is going to be basically the design space right here so this square that I'm going to use that is going to be the 5.25 and then the height will be 1.25 I'm going to go ahead and add in the images that I'm going to use so I also wanted to show you a few things about how I get my images so typically when I go and, and look for an image on Google, I just type in whatever it is. So Hot Wheels, and then I look for uh, PNG specifically. And that typically gives me everything that doesn't have a background on it. So this is the one that I chose. When I go and upload it to Design Space, it's not going to have anything really for me to remove. With the exception of I decided to remove this synchro sign right here everything else I left on there if you type in something like just Hot Wheels you're gonna pretty much get everything and that means uh, you'll have to either remove the background or remove some aspect of the design so like this is a JPEG right here if I upload it into design space then I'll have to remove um, the background from it I'm gonna take my road and I'm gonna flip it this way and then unlock it and drag it all the way to this side and then I'll take my Hot Wheel car I'm gonna make this about one inch so I am going to sort of flip this around to make it seem as if you know the, the car is on the track so I just went to print and pattern and then I changed it to this uh, flag print right here so another thing I don't think that I discussed in the beginning is I added two squares and I made them a half an inch by 5.75 and that'll basically be the side of your wrap where you can add a happy birthday message or anything else and you also want to leave a little bit of space here on the side to where you can actually close it up I will add my barcode which is the same one that I have been using and since my image is going to be white I'm gonna make my barcode black then I'll also use this right here but I want to flip it the other way so I'm just gonna flip horizontal and then flip vertical I want it to be like that I have everything pretty much how I want it on here uh, I will go ahead and change the background to white I'll select everything here and then I will flatten click make it you can fit two on a page okay so I'm going to go ahead and cut out my design instead of using my Cricut. This first, okay, and then pull it around the side like that, okay, and then fold and then fold on this side as well so there you go 
And then you can trim off what needs to be trimmed just to make it look neat. Okay, so there's my side message.